Good morning, how's it going? Uh, here in Florence again, and I just left the hostel, and today I brought my uh, backpack full of camera gear and my cameras because I'm gonna see if I can't shoot some good photos today, go on a little Instagram mission. So I got about 20 minutes, 30 minutes till I reach the center of town. One of the striking similarities between uh, Florence, and Florence and Bologna that I've seen is all the little artisan shops along the streets that you can't find anywhere else. Um, artists working, um, artisans making different things. It's pretty crazy. We don't really have that back in the States. Well, I can say from just looking around a little bit and walking around the city for the last two days, if you need something that's designer, you can definitely find it in Florence. I'm very intrigued by this small car in front of me. I don't know if I can catch up to it though. Behind me you can see what I was talking about yesterday, all the shops and stuff on the bridge behind me that Florence is known for. thing I've seemed to really notice here is that uh, everybody doesn't care where the sidewalk begins or ends, it kind of runs into the street. We got a little time lapse going here on the piazza. Right now I'm currently climbing the steps of the tower uh, next to the Duomo and I guess there's five to eight hundred steps, I can't remember exactly which it is, but it's going to be a long walk. I'm only a few flights up and I'm starting to run out of breath, but at least the stairs here are a little more secure than they were at the towers in Bologna. Don't think about this is okay anymore. Only a little bit of the way up and it's an Pretty amazing view, so I can't wait to get to the top. So I just made it to the top of the Duomo Tower, and it's a pretty incredible view up here of the hills surrounding Florence and the city itself. I also got pretty lucky that the sun is starting to shine today. It was raining a little earlier. If you look across the city there, you can see the Basilica San Miniato al Monte right there. Exit through the gift shop.
looks like I got pretty lucky when I went up on the tower. It was blue skies and now they've kind of turned to gray again. My rain later. So the sandwich is just... Continue on to Piazza di San Firenze. Why do you interrupt me, Google? So right now I'm headed back to the sandwich shop. Since it was so good yesterday, I gotta find it again. There's a guy right up there and you could not pay me enough to do that job. Wow. Can't quite eat it. Oh. So it looks like I may have to find a new place to eat today or wait a little while because both of the uh, sides of the street where the restaurant is on are packed and the lines are ridiculous. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> He's waiting for his sandwich too? Fine. This time I went for a different sandwich. I got the Lamanolos sandwich. I could only read what about half of what was in here, so I'm still not sure exactly what's in here. So after having that uh, filling sandwich, I'm gonna go try to find some gelato, but I've been told that uh, the gelaterias that are actually really good are the ones that don't pile their gelato high. So I've gotta go kind of off the tourist track to look for a good place to get gelato. Decided to get strawberry, mango, and green apple. Someone seems to be camping out under a bridge here in Florence across the river. So I crossed over the river a little bit ago and I'm on my way to the uh, basilica up on this side of the river and behind me you can see the one I came from earlier today. Cold out, and I decided to get some uh, coffee. Now that I'm out here at the steps watching music and uh, taking pictures of the lights behind me in the city, I thought it would be okay if I got a nice bottle of wine to go with that. Uh, not yet. Oh. 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 